Welcome to another Volvo video, my 2003 XC90 and in this video I'll be changing a door check strap So it's going to be easy enough to uh, confirm the fault. It's actually on the driver's door. So I just unlock it and I'll show you the problem. It's see, obviously, I need to confirm it on camera. And there we go. Oh, and it, this is the bit in question. I think what happened was a, a gust of wind had caught the door. It pulled it a bit back, and it's I think it's bent something in, in check strap. And if you hear that. That doesn't sound too healthy, so that's the fault confirmed. I don't think there's anything actually wrong with the door itself. I can't see any problems with the door, so all I need to do is I'll need to pull the door panel off and then undo the check strap. It's only held on by a, a bolt and two nuts, but the door panel's got to come off. And I think I showed that in previous video, and I just noticed this, <laughs> this has come off. This is forever coming off it. We're actually missing when they bought the car and I think I think this is an aftermarket one rather than the genuine Volvo. So I'll put that somewhere safe, like in there. Get some tools out and we'll get this door panel off. So I think I've got all the tools I need. Uh, trim tools, it's a and T25 to get on to the uh, two bolts that are hidden behind this. And then uh, oh, I need to unclip the, this speaker panel as well. And uh, to get to get the check strip off it's a T40 bolt and a couple of 10mm nuts. But obviously to get the rest of the door door, door check strap out I need to pull this door, door panel off so I'll set you up on a on a tripod and uh, might might time lapse it or just do it normally. Okay so set up on a tripod and got some better better trim tools than, than last time. Right, I think a wide one should do it, so it's just a matter of maybe not that one, I'll try something else. There we go, that wasn't too bad. A bit quicker than uh, last time when I had to change the door mirror. So, behind here is T25. Let's have a look. I should have used an extension. I think I'll do that. I'll grab an extension, I'll be right back. Okay, got my extension bar. Yep, makes the job a bit easier. So two screws out, so I need to prise this, this tweeter out. Let's 
so it should be should have a suitable trim tool. There we go. Let's just disconnect the, the tweeter. And that's disconnected. Now we should be able to pull this door panel off. Might not need all the trim tools, man. Not careful, end up. Breaking the door panel, and that won't be good. Put it free from the door, but there's some uh, connectors. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, see if I can get this window switch out. There's a, there's a tab at that end, I just push that in, that'll, that'll free the window switches. Hopefully, no, you can't see from, from behind, or maybe I'll just disconnect it. That might be the easiest way. The, the plugs. So I'm not sure how I've got. To... So that's one plug disconnected, and then the other one, and then just the door handle. I'm going to do this one. Looks like it's, looks like it's been glued in. So I think I'll just. Oh. No, you can't see much. So, let's just turn the camera around. So yeah, some somebody's been here before. The view's blue. So. I might just I might just leave it hanging. That probably wouldn't be such a bad idea. Yeah, I'll leave it hanging. It's not, it's not vital to be totally disconnected. And then turning back to a uh, to our actual job in hand. Um, and that's just come off. Some, oh, I've heard something drop. That doesn't sound clever. And, uh, and yeah, oh, I think you can see what's happened. I don't know if you can see the the door check strap, it's it's come apart. That's what, that's what I heard fall. So it should be quite easy to extract that now. So if I switch to the T40, hope you can see this. Just to undo this. Now, I could have used beam packed, but not everybody is as well equipped as I am. So I thought I'll just do it by hand. And this one's fighting me. So that's your T40 out. Oh yeah, it's just come apart, it's just come completely apart. So switching to the 10 mil. And let's have a look here. See if I can move you guys to a better place where you can see what I'm actually doing. You still want tripod, so it's just a little bit of a adjustment oh. yeah there you go there's, a, there's your two 10 mils there in fact I didn't need the extension so oh, I should put you put you guys down again in 
Ja, ich hab jetzt schon kurz den Kohl aufgeschrieben. Ich bin dumm. I'm in magnetic tray. Uh, I just hope this don't fall out on me. So I think I just put the camera down. In fact, I'll switch to to handheld tripod. Right, sorry about the, the funky angle, but I need both hands free. And there it goes, the remnants of the, uh, the check strap liberated. I'll get that other bit. There's, a, there's another bit that's that's on it. I think you can see where where the failures occurred. It's what happened is a gust of wind. It caught the door, and it it's pulled it back, and it's it's obviously caused some sort of deformation. But there's, a, there's another part of that, and it's it's dropped down inside the door. So you know. I don't want to end up pulling the speaker out just to get to it. Let's see if I can reach to it. Finally, that is my magnetic pickup stick. No, I can't, I can't reach it, so I'll get my magnetic pickup stick and fish the remnants of that check strap out. So I managed to get this bit out. It was actually trapped in the uh, in the rail for the window regulator, so that wasn't too bad. So. Here's my replacement part, genuine Volvo part, there's a the part number 31278216 which is basically a front door check strap and, the, and the, I, don't, you know, I think they'll fit left and right but they're not interchangeable with rear doors but front, you know, left, left to right they are interchangeable and as I, there's, there's the rem, remnants of it so fitting is just basically reverse of a Taking it all out. So I think what I'll do is I'll I'll clean I'll clean this up, I'll clean this door jam up around here before I fit it. Um I'll, I'll do I'll do all the fitting off camera. Uh like I said it as it as it says in the hinge manual, it's reverse of removal. I've just realised the reason this was, I was struggling to get this out was Loctite, it was Loctited in. But we'll just go with good and tight. I know it's a Swedish vehicle but it, that good and tight is good enough so I'll come back to you it's all buttoned up and all working perfectly so the check strap's been refitted it's working perfectly uh, hopefully to uh, as a bit of a preventative measure I've sprayed some some white grease and hopefully that'll uh, stop any rust so I'm gonna finish putting that putting this all back together and I'll come back to you when we're all done oh by the way I forgot to mention uh, I actually found this, uh, you know, the, the genuine part on eBay with just shy of 70 quid delivered. So I thought that one bod, I don't know how much it costs from Volvo dealer. But to me, it's money well spent. Genuine part, fits perfectly, brand new, no issues. So we're all buttoned up and I've tested the switch, make, make sure windows and mirrors are working and they are. So real proof of the pudding is... Oh! And that's that one good. What what happened there? Hmm. Something's gone a bit wrong. Oh, it's the door panel. It's not quite on right. Well, it wasn't the door panel. It's because the uh, the door was locked. And you'd notice your locking button went down. So I've just I just pressed lock button a couple of times. It's definitely unlocked. 
so it should work so try again yep there we go working perfectly so confirm fix a bit of a hiccup at the end <laughs> but there you go so that's the end of this video hope you enjoyed it and I'm going to say this once again I think I said it on a previous video I don't say it much as a uh, most of my viewers are not subscribers so if you enjoy my content you enjoy me working on my cars and what I do subscribe to the channel it doesn't cost you anything and also give give a like you know, it helps the, uh, the algorithm it tells YouTube and it'll recommend uh, more of my content to you anyway enough of that as ever thanks for watching and I'll see you